once you've established that a patient has reflux and, and you're working on or working with the patient on that, tell me how you go about working with that patient. Yeah, great question. Um, one of the products that I've come to rely on so much with my patients is the GI intercom. And what I love about it is it's such a great combination of individual herbs and nutrients that I was already using to support these patients with their symptoms and the underlying issue. Um, so a little bit about GI intercom, it's made with gut guard, which is a patented DGL. And we know DGL is a form of licorice that removes the glycerizin, which is known to um, affect potassium levels and potentially increase blood pressure. So what's nice about DGL is it has the beautiful demulcent components without affecting people's blood pressure. So it's a great option for those with GI issues, especially heartburn, acid reflux, and so forth. Okay, that's great. And so the gut guard that we just a little just a little bit of backstory for the practitioners listening is that we call this a clinician crafted formula because our whole clinical team participated in creating the formula that is now GI Intercom. So we each brought our own specific uh, clinical experience and expertise into the development of this product. And the DGL that we selected is called Gut Guard. You want to talk a little bit about why we selected Gut Guard and, and what's in it? Yeah, gut guard is um, a great option for DGL because it has lots of a handful of, of clinical trials that was done actually with it. So one of the gut guard studies um, on H. pylori showed it was a randomized double blind controlled study, and it actually showed significant reduction in gastric load of H. pylori compared to placebos. And in another study, it was able to effectively manage the symptoms of functional dyspepsia, including things like upper abdominal fullness, belching, regurgitation, upper abdominal pain, nausea, bloating, and vomiting. So, you know, we know that it's a, you know, research back um, uh, version of the EGL. And in our product, we actually use the same dose that was used in these, in these studies. That's awesome. And I just, just as a quick reminder, in case the people listening don't know, so H. pylori really commonly associated uh, bacteria with, it's a gram negative bacteria associated with reflux. So it's an important piece to, to, and something really cool that I, you know, that I love about working with this company is that when we, when we do formulate, we always work with products that have research behind them wherever we possibly can. And this is just one example of that. Another one is the Pepzin, which I, uh, pulled up a few bullet points about, so also a researched compound enhances stomach lining integrity, um, disassociates in the stomach at a slow rate, and allow, that allows it to promote gastric healing. Uh, it has anti-ulcerative -ulcer prop, um, ulcerative properties as well that are both cytoprotective, so it protects the, the, cell, the cells in the stomach mucosa and helps with tissue repair as well. So another, another uh, ingredient inclusion is that uh, zinc carnosine, which is the pep zin. Um, so what else do you want to talk any more about sort of the formula or what else you like about? Absolutely. So, I mean, the zinc carnosine, as you mentioned, we know so beneficial for supporting the gut lining. Um, we've got the DGL, which I was using, you know, as a standalone for a while to help with the symptoms, but also people trying to come off their acid reducing medications. It's a great thing to kind of add in because it really helps with soothing the lining of the esophagus and the stomach. So they're not having that irritation to the already inflamed tissue. So I love that we combine those on top of those two, we've got the quercetin, which we know is a beautiful potent antioxidant. It's an natural antihistamine supportive to tight junction repair. Um, and then of course we have L-glycine amino acid in there as well. So really kind of unique combination, I'd say for the in terms of gut healing and gut supportive products, um, which is one of the reasons I really like it too. And the other thing uh, too, so it, a couple of things that I love is that, so chamomile, I don't know if you used chamomile just as a single herb for stomach pain, but I found that sort of accidentally when my son, when he was six years old, he's 23 now, but when he was six years old, he had really significant stomach pain and I only had a handful of herbs. And I was like, oh, chamomile, I think that helps with stomach stuff. And so immediately when he took the tincture, his stomach pain resolved. And uh, then I started to see that, you know, we collect data all the time as practitioners. So chamomile, that's one of my favorite indications for chamomile is stomach pain. And then lemon balm is the other inclusion. And that's such a nice, again, healing, uh, protective of the stomach lining, 
But these botanicals, a lot of them, not only do they work in the gut, but they also help sort of interrupt any kind of loop, feedback loop in the brain where anxiety may be contributing as well. So that's, it was sort of a dual purpose. You know, we like to, with formulas, hit a lot of different areas, but it, it, it's exciting to me to see that sort of combination, that additional support as well. Absolutely. And again, I think that's what makes this product stand out is, you know, the glycine, which we know is supportive to protein synthesis repair and supporting things like collagen. And then, you know, we do see aloe and ginger, which we'll talk about. It's also in our product in a lot of other, you know, gut healing supportive products, which, you know, is they're there because they work so well, but the chamomile and the lemon balm are kind of unique. And um, it's really nice to have this combination together that not only supports calming things like dyspepsia and acid reflux, but also can support the anxiety piece, the mood piece, the sleep piece as well, which we know contributes so much to, to gut healing and gut health. And it tastes good. And it tastes and, so good. Yeah, it tastes good. The, and the glycine, uh, it, it's, it, so it's sweet, you know, so it tastes good. It tastes a little bit sweet, a little bit tart, lemon yeah. ginger. I love it. 